Today's video is about my hospital bag and yes, I finally packed my hospital bag. It will be one week from now before I give birth to baby girl. <laughs> I have two bags. One handbag and one small luggage and we will look into the handbag first. So basically what's inside here is a tissue paper. According to the hospital list, I need one. And a few feminine wipes, of course, you need those. And a hand sanitizer. Basically what's inside of this bag is more on about breast pump. So I put all of the breast pump accessories here. First off, um, I do have my Lavi. This is the, the breast massager. I already shared this to my previous videos and also the accessories of the breast pump. I already sanitized these and the bottles for the breast pump again else and the breast pump itself with a charger a sanitizer again and of course i bought um, a pack of uh, breast milk storage bag this one definitely needed and of course some of the breast pads so basically all of this breast pump accessories are in here so that it will be easier for me to grab all of this stuff. Okay, so let's put this aside. Done. Okay, so this one is done. So let's go into the small luggage. Ta -da! There are two sides. The other side is all about babies and documents. Of course, you need documents like our marriage contract, passport, photocopies of everything. You need these here in Singapore for you to register your newborn child and process your baby's passport and visa. Okay, so you definitely need this. And of course, a few clothes for baby girl. I actually put them on a resealable bag and labeled them for daddy so that I mean it will be easier for him to grab all of this stuff whatever the babies need so I brought the baby's clothes for zero to three months I packed some of her onesies and towels and swaddle and another onesies for for the day and mittens socks and and of course there are there is also a pack of newborn sizes because you'll never know you'll never know what will be the size of your baby when she come out so I do have a few newborns and of course a swaddle and a diaper and a baby wipes I don't know if these stuff will be needed during our stay in the hospital because some say that you don't need to bring anything for, for the baby you only need to bring uh, one set of clothes when she's going home with me or me. so but then no harm to be prepared right so on the other side are my stuff first things off this pouch consists of my camera and charger of course Batteries. You need batteries, chargers again, my AirPods, and of course, my ionizer. This is the most important thing. And cables as well. So these are the stuff that I will be needing during my stay in the hospital. So I put it here. Just ignore what it says here because I can't find my other pouch. A set of power bumps in case I can't reach the power socket. My toiletries, makeup, and baby's toiletries. Yeah. I packed here. I do have masks, different masks, and baby's <laughs> travel size toiletries. And what else? Yeah, and of course, makeups and skincare, travel sizes. 
So basically that's it. I put it everything in one pouch so that CJ can grab it easily. And of course, from what my friends told me, I also needed to bring maternity pads. So I bought these. These are from Nutra Care maternity pads with organic cotton cover. And I also bought another type of pad. It says postpartum pads from the Honeypot company. I got these from iHerb.com. So I don't know which one I should be using, but let's see. I packed a baby carrier. This is from Connie. So this is a baby carrier. If you are familiar with it, something like this. Yeah, you'll just need to wear this and uh, put your baby in front of you. So it's quite easy to use. That's why I chose this one. It's very compact as you can see. It's just like this and Of course my clothes I actually bought some pajamas from baby clothes because they're very comfy and they advise about this wink binder after I use it so that I can share to you my experience and if this really worked after you gave birth whether it's normal delivery or cesarean delivery so yeah basically that's it that's what I pack very straightforward I hope I shared to you a good idea on how to pack your hospital bag yeah that's all for now thank you for watching and don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell so that you'll get notification whenever I post a new video. I'll see you on the next one. Bye!